This railway station in the Chinese city of Chongqing is usually a hub for many of the city's 30 million people. But right now, it's also a vital cooling centre for adults and children seeking shelter from the intense summer heat. China, like much of the rest of the world, is struggling amid soaring temperatures. Workers at the station are having to spray air conditioning units to cope. Others perform maintenance work on power lines to keep the trains running. This is just the local backdrop to the visit to China of U.S. climate envoy John Kerry this week. The three-day trip aims to revive climate cooperation between the world's top greenhouse gas emitters. Currently, the world is facing a daunting challenge of climate response. It is necessary for China, the United States, and indeed all countries in the world to strengthen coordination, build consensus, and speed up action. Kerry's arrival in China has coincided with waves of extreme weather across the planet. That includes a heat dome in the western United States that brought temperatures in California's Death Valley to 133 degrees Fahrenheit on Sunday. The meeting is the third high-profile visit to China by a senior U.S. politician in as many weeks. Kerry told Chinese officials on Tuesday the two countries could use climate cooperation to redefine their troubled relationship and lead the way in tackling global warming. So the imperative of our two countries coming together and working and showing the rest of the world how we can cooperate and begin to address this with the urgency it requires is incredible. China is also dealing with the impact of Typhoon Talim, which slammed the southern coast of Guangdong province on Monday night. Flood victims further north in Fujian province were seen being rescued in video released by the Fuji Fire Department. Another typhoon is expected to hit southern China next week.